Hello, everyone. Oh, we're starting with the cutscene. Looks like we have another, uh, another monster on our farm. Oh, that's unfortunate. Anyways, welcome back uh, to the newest installment of Sunhaven. In the last episode, we uh, got more information from Elios. And, uh, yeah. That's the main event that's happened, at least. Gonna find out what happened with the, uh, Navari people and see if they can't help. Alrighty. Thank you so much for subscribing to Kitty's Super Professional Pet Food Service. You're signed up for the Mama Bear Package, yeah. This means you get 15 whole helpings of pet food for your cute and cuddly companions each week. Remember to give them lots of pets and attention, okay? Pets love pets. I'll keep this short. I don't mind so much. At least you're still pretty annoying. But, well, you can hang around the library if you want. Just don't bug me. Alrighty, Amanda. An unmarked letter has been placed into your mailbox. The words are written in a shaky hand as whoever wrote the letter was nervous while pinning their message. Hello, we met at Town Hall, but maybe you don't remember me. My family has a home in Sunhaven, but well, we live on a cloud far down the street north east of Town Hall. My father prefers privacy, but I'd like to get to know people in town better. I've seen how good you are at farming. I'm not saying I know how they got there, but someone left a handful of magical an magical angel trumpet beams laying in the ground far beneath my family's home. If you watered them, maybe you'd be able to come visit. It looks like whoever wrote this message began signing the name, but has had second thoughts and scratched the signature out with heavy strokes. Okay. You can make out the letters M I Y or M L Y. I'm assuming it's M I. Well, we got gloves to give to Amanda at the library. Uh, to be able to read the Nelvari text. You're back with an Elvari text. Lucia has informed me of your express permission to view the text, and unfortunately, I can't really argue with her. Alright, I'll go get the book and you can take a look at it. Well, thank you, Amanda. Yeah, yeah, it's my job after all. Alright, here it is. Whew. It really is old. Let's see what it has to say. Taleth and Sendora. Lesos Telus Entala Bashora Mara e so Olores. Cool. I have no idea what that means. Yep. I don't understand a single word of this book. How about you? I have no idea what this says. I could have guessed as much. Well, looks like you went through all that trouble for nothing. Well, I think it's funny. I really need to know what this book says. Alright, don't lose your hair. I have no idea what this says, but I do know an elf who lives here in Sunhaven. He's almost always drinking at the tavern. He's definitely not from Nelvari or anything like that, but maybe you can go find him, and if he's able to make sense of this, it's worth a shot at least. I'll go speak to him, Liam. Love that. Oh. A bam! Uh, well, this person up here looks rather nice. I'm gonna go talk to her. Eve. Oh, hello there. You're an interesting one, eh? You can call me Eve, but what shall I call you? I am Bunny. Oh, the farmer. You must tell me about, the, about it sometime. Farming, that is. And of course, I mean... Sometime other than now. Alrighty then. I'll be on the way then.
Well, that. The cool water is refreshing. There's a plaque fixed to the fountain. Let's see what it says. May the blessings of Elias shine down upon you. Speak to Edwin at the tavern. Now, if I remember correctly... Well, we could do the, this one, but I know the main quest is... Oh, it's this guy. Please, give me another chance. My name's Stefan. Put me to work in your town, I'll do anything. We can't have criminals like him walking free in Sunhaven. Funny Lord, did you witness him illegally collecting Glorite? What do you think we should do? Everyone deserves a second chance. I trust Bunny Lord's judgment. Come with me. If you say so. Alrighty, well. That looks enough like a tavern. Hey, farmer. I said you aren't here to make small talk. What can I do for you? Uh, I need some uh, Nalvarian text translated. Can you help me? <laughs> That's awful presumptuous of you, farmer. Do you think just because I'm an elf that means I speak Nalvarian? Do you think it, do you know every language spoken by your race? Every race has their different cultures, and Navarians are about as different as they come. Real secluded and stuck in the old ways, and ones are me. My family comes from a quiet fishing village right outside Great City. What I'm saying, Fom, is uh, that I, I I can't help ya. Well, sorry to bother you. Mari. Well, hello there. Welcome on in. I'm Mari, and I'll be taking good care of you today. Hi, Mari. I'm Bunny Lord. I just moved in. Then that must make you the farmer. Lucia made the rounds and gave us all the heads up. Glad to see you in Sunhaven. Alrighty, we'll see you. Hmm? Oh, excuse me. How do you do? Did I startle you? Oh, no worries. Ever since I've come to this town, I've been lost deep in thoughts. It's honestly been incredible for research I'm conducting. But I won't bore you with all the details right now, eh? Alrighty. And off I go. Uh... Need to fill my uh, walk down. Not found. I can't believe I just said that. Watering can. I need to refill that. There we go. Travel up the road northeast of Town Hall. But first, we're gonna go back to the library. Oh, hello, Liam. Hi again. Sorry, it's Bunny Lord, right? It's been a while since somebody new moved in. What do you do for a living, Liam? I run a bakery. I mean, I'm, uh, uh, I'm a baker. I also take care of my sisters. Usually, I'm doing both at the same time. Dear sisters help in the bakery. And then Elizabeth, they're just kids. They tried to help me bake once, and uh, it went not too good. Calvin returned the cake with glitter in it. I couldn't stop giggling because he had sparkles in his teeth. He was pretty mad. No offense, Liam, but you look like you could use a nap. That's because I do. Sorry, I don't mean to complain. I'm just burning the candle at both ends these days. This is gonna be creepy. <laughs> if it makes you feel better, you smell fantastic. Oh, must be the gingerbread. Hey, that's an upside of baking. But 
I never thought about. Thanks. Well, how about I give you... Do I have anything nice to get? I can give him cookies. Here, take some cookies. Oh, that shot it up a half a heart. Dang. Love that. Cookies, I love some. Thank you, Bunny Lord. Don't mention it. Oh, yeah. I need to go into the library. Eventually, I'll be max hearts with everybody. <laughs> Alrighty. So that guy was a bust, huh? Oh, well. I guess he tried. What? Don't look at me like that. I helped the best I could. Alright, fine. If you really want to find out what the text says, there is only one other, one other thing I could think of that would help you. Don't expect this to work, or even be possible, of course, but it is said that there exists a legendary artifact as the Stone of Tongues. It's an enchanted stone that is capable of allowing those who possess it to understand any language. Sounds ridiculous to me, but it's probably the best shot you have. If anyone knows anything more about the stone, it would be someone who has traveled around the world and knows a good deal about rare, expensive relics. Perhaps one of the merchants knows. Just don't get your hopes up. Even if the stone exists, what would be the odds that someone in Sunhaven knows anything about it? I think I might know someone who, uh, who actually might know anything. We also see our bunny friend Catherine up here, so let's go talk to her, fellow rabbit lady. Alright. Funny lord, let me ask you something. Does this hat make my ears look big? You know what, forget I asked. Big ears just mean better hearing, right? Music must sound amazing. Oh, that, that, that is true. I absolutely love listening to the piano. Sometimes, though, I just need to hear something with energy. That's when I reach for my Gavin Knapp record. They play guitar better than anyone I've ever heard. I never knew you had such great musical taste. Actually, I never listened to the music that much before I had a conversation with Claude about... Well, since I had a conversation with Claude about it. No, really, a, a full conversation. Anyway, I bumped into him outside the record store. And he opened up to me about a world of music. Now I go to the record store every week. Actually, I can't tell if those are real ears or if it's just on the hat. At least you ask. Too many people just reach up and yank on them. It hurts. Oh, and I suppose that answers your question. Yes, these are my ears. Don't pull on them. I've never met a rabbit of heart before you. I'm happy to be your first, and yes, I have a very, very good hearing. I know you didn't ask, but I, I don't need to be a witch to see that you were about to. Alrighty, well, I feel kind of awkward doing that, so here's a peach. No, I need to donate that peach. Never mind, ignore that. Uh, I know I've donated this. Take a green root. Green root is an excellent spice. Thanks for topping off my supply, Benelope. It's the least I could do. I can tell you didn't really like it that much, but at least you were nice about it. Now let's go, uh... Do the same thing with June. So, is it love at first sight? I mean, with Sunhaven? Did you move here like me? Blah, blah, blah. Did you move here like me? Not at all. I was born and raised here in Sunhaven. I've never even visited the great city. My little house has been my only home all my life. There's no reason to move if you're happy. Oh, absolutely. Hey, feel free to come visit me whenever you want. You know, so you can see my home. My house is just above Liam's. He's a great neighbor, too. You've been here uh, a while, right, June? Do you still like it here? Of course, Sunhaven is great. I just wish it was doing better. The people here have a strong will, though, so I'm optimistic. The trick is to uh, not lose hope. And if anyone does lose hope, then that's where I come in. I think Sunhaven will bounce back. That's exactly the positivity I'm talking about. 
I honestly knew you were a paused person, but it's nice hearing you talk like that. Well, uh... You... Want some cookies? You didn't like them very much. Ah, your heart is in the right place, funny lord, but I don't usually like cookies myself. The children will enjoy them, though. You bet! Note to self, not everyone likes the cookies. I thought that... thought they would, and now I feel a little dumb, but it's fine. Oh, hey, Claude. Oh, Farmer. I have a nice view of your farm from my upper story. Um, did you want to talk for some reason? That dry house is all yours. That's right. Living alone in a spacious home helps me focus on my work. It sounds like a great time to have all that space to yourself. You think so? Well, that makes two of us. I haven't seen you around too much. I'm not surprised. I'm usually quite busy at home. What brings you out today? I'm hoping to get some inspiration for a new record. Again, I... It won't be long before I buy every record in the store, I swear. Uh... Want an apple? Here's an apple. Oh, he loves apples. This is a good apple. Thanks, Bunny Lou. Don't mention it! She looks absolutely lovely. Uh, travel up the road northeast. I think that's northwest, so this would be northeast. There's the record store they were talking about. Go right on up and over here. Are they talking about like all the way up here? Yep, they are. Could these be the magic bean seeds the leather spoke of? If you look up to the sky, spawn a massive cloud drifting in the endless blue above. <laughs> what would happen if you watered the bean seeds? <clears throat> Well, I watered them. I will say the music in this game is absolutely lovely. Hardware store. Uh. Doors. Okay. Hey, Lewis. Hey, hey! Looking to customize your house! Sure, what are you selling? Oh. A basic blue tile, cat door, cow, gingerbread. Love that. I will definitely have to come here at some point to, uh, beautify my house. Nope, oh, got stuck in a lot post. Alrighty. Well, where is Anne? Oh. She is... All the way down the road this direction. Oh, hey, it's the angel lady. Funny lord, I've heard good things about you. Supposedly, you have a variety of skills. I'm hoping one of those skills is combat. Well, what's going on? Those darn monkeys are causing trouble for travelers. They're too dangerous. We need to do something. Well, what do you need me to do? Slay ten monkeys in the eastern forest, and that's it. Hopefully the rest will get the message. Come find me when you're done, and I will gladly pay you. Alrighty, I'm on it. I'm on it. I can't wait to teach the... Oh, blah, blah, blah. I can't speak. Okay, so Stone and Tongues, Dangerous to the North. Oh, I almost passed her. 
Because apparently she's up right here. What's that? Stone of Tongues. Well, yeah, of course I know what that is. I actually purchased, purchased it not too long ago. At an auction, a perfectly reputable auction, of course. It was quite the investment, so I'm determined to get my money's worth for it at, once I find a buyer. What? Really? You need it? Or a quest? The Ilios the Sun Dragon himself gave to you? Alright, listen, it, I've seen you around now a few times, and I feel I can actually trust you. Funny Lord, in fact, if you're willing to do something for me, I'll even loan you. For the time being. Sound fair? So here's the deal, I actually have no idea where the stone is right now. Don't worry, it's hidden safe. I just don't exactly know where. Here's a merchant secret. Keep your good stuff hidden. I have a duke run off with, into the forest and hide all my most valuable pieces. He's great at digging, though his memory is awful, so retrieval is always a process. Go out and find all my treasures and I'll loan you the stone. Fair? Great. Just search around the disturbed dirt piles in the forest around town and uh, bring my goods back to me. Sounds fair enough to me. Alrighty. Chow, ch 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 Gonna go up to the Hall of Culture. Yeah. We're gonna go here and then we're gonna. Is that really all? Okay. Well, I know that the tooth goes up here. Oh. Oh! Already, uh, already got it. Cool. Heard. Love that for me. Uh, nope, nothing else there. And I know that Peach is the last thing I need right here, so BAM! Yes! Give them to me! And I'm pretty sure I can just donate that large magic potion right on over here. What? Large magic potion? Is it real? Oh! Okay! Provides a small amount of manager blah, 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 of mana region permanently. So I should drink it now. Okay. I gotcha, I gotcha. Delicious. Okay. Did I really already donate kiwis? I'm sorry, but I feel like kiwis they have to go somewhere here, right? And if not there, I know it wouldn't be there. How about Paul? Really? Kiwis really go nowhere? Huh. How strange. Alright. Well. Off to uh, this place, because I'm pretty sure I have another thing for over here. What? Nope, I haven't been to Navarre Mines. Golden Bundle. Oh, nope. Never mind. Never mind. Do we have anything else in our inventory? Well, we have, uh... Two greens. Drops eight hardwood every morning. That could actually be quite useful, so I'm actually gonna put that on. Oh wait, I can alternate them out, now that I think about it. Okay, okay, there we go. And I guess we can sell the Kiwi. We have no use for it. Um... 
I mean, the treasure is this way as well, so. No harm, no foul. I'm dreaming that I can sing that song, but I can't. So it's fine. It's fine. Let's see what this man actually wants. Um, who are you? Yeah, yeah, rah rah. Not much of a talker, are you? No? Okay. Would you please leave my farm? Oh, okay, no. The monster doesn't seem like he'll be going anywhere soon. I better act fast as he keeps messing up my farm. Alrighty. Well, talk to Lynn and talk to Nathaniel. Got it. You know what? Patui. Patui. Oh my goodness. Okay. That that ain't happening anytime soon. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes. <clears throat> A sack of treasure. Love to see it. Love to see it. Alright, let's go. See what on earth that is. Oh, that's just a log. Let's go upward. Nope, y'all don't see a thing. Y'all do not see a thing. Also, I'm realizing that there is literally no disturbed dirt that way, so I'm assuming it would be this way. Yep, there's one right here. Ooh, that lag though. Oh my god. Let's try to fix that by cutting through here. And try to speed down here. Um we're gonna make it, but it's gonna be cut real short. Okay, apparently it's just something over there causing the issue. Which are perfectly fine over here. Oof. Alrighty. Well, I guess that marks the end of uh, this installment of Sunhaven. That was day 15. We got a lot of stuff prepared. So, um, yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed, and y'all beautifully handsome individuals have the best of, just the best of days. All right. Bye-bye.